This is a House judiciary, not a House party. I'm sorry, could you repeat the question, Congressman? When the President asked you to deliver that message, did he, the President, tell you that two days before your meeting, his White House counsel had refused to fire the special counsel? The, the White House has directed me that I not disclose the substance of any so conversations with the you President. You are not allowed to Isaacs. answer whether the President told you he called his counsel at home on Saturday to remove, on a Saturday, to remove the special counsel, and his counsel said no. The President had also personally called Sessions at home and asked him to unrecuse himself and oversee the special counsel's investigation, and Sessions said no. When the President asked you to deliver his message to Sessions, did the President tell you that Sessions had already said no? Again, Congresswoman, I recognize that the privilege is not mine, but I've been this asked by the White public, House to... Uh, Congresswoman, I'd be happy to answer your Sessions question, or you can just have a conversation by yourself. But if you'd like to ask me a question, no, I'll be happy I, to answer. I'm going to continue. The reason is well, because... Well, then don't ask me a question if I'm you don't want to hear my answer. my time. This is a House judiciary, not a House party. I'd like my time restored, please, of his interruption. Did the President tell you that the Attorney General was legally not allowed to take any part in the special counsel's investigation when he asked you to deliver him a note about that very investigation. Did the president tell you that? What you've just read is not on the screen, Congresswoman. You need to look at the screen. Yes or no? Read the screen. You're welcome to read it, Congresswoman. Uh, you're welcome to be stalling, and I'm not going to stall. You either answer the question yes or no. Congressman, I'll take the same you, privileges that you've had other members. tell you that nobody at the White House was supposed to even contact the Attorney General about the investigation? That you can answer yes or no. I will not disclose any conversations I've had with the President, Congressman. Again, you are obviously here to block any reasonable inquiry into the truth or not of this administration. Anyone else involved in these episodes of obstruction would have been charged with a crime. Anyone else. Let that sink in. The President knows this. And the White House is intent on preventing the American people from hearing the details. Congressman, the White House has directed not, I not disclose the substance of any discussions with the president or his advisors to protect executive branch yes. confidentiality. And I recognize this is not my privilege, but I am respecting the White House's decision. Let me ask you some questions about your relationship with the president after he assumed office. How many times has the president asked you to meet him in the White House? The White House is directed to not disclose the substance of How any discussions. How many times did you meet with the president alone in the White House in 2017? I don't know the answer to that. How many times did he direct you to deliver a message to a member of his cabinet? The White House is directed to not disclose the substance of any discussions did with the ever, president. Did, did he ever discuss with you any concerns that he may have committed a criminal offense? The White House is directed to not disclose the substance of any okay. discussions with the president or his advisors to protect so you, so executive branch confidentiality. Right, I recognize this is Jared, not my privilege. So Today's cover-up is part of a pattern of the White House blocking Congress. The president announced his desire to, quote, fight all the subpoenas, unquote. The White House's obstruction of Congress ranges across nearly every committee and virtually every investigation of the administration, whether related to children in cages, botched security clearances, or their failure to defend the country from ongoing attacks by a foreign adversary. We will not be daunted by the cover-up. We intend to secure accountability for any wrongdoing, because no one is above the law, not even the President of the United States.